Ready. Yeah. Go ahead and tell me your name and where you're from. Ezekiel Gross Meadows Keys from Hinton, West Virginia. All right. Uh, when you think of homelessness or a homeless person, what's the image that first pops in your mind? Well, I would say uh, somebody out of the military, not really uh, having stuff, so they're on their own and pretty much maybe on drugs or alcoholic or something like that. Okay. Um, have you ever had any experiences with homeless people before? Yeah, scary. Any scary experiences? Yeah, San Diego. I was fell off the tater truck yesterday, like from a small town, and uh, not attacked, but I was downtown San Diego, and I talked to the guys you know, homeless here, mm -hmm. and they said San Diego is bad because people are off their meds, schizophrenic, and that's the nice ones. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it was just because I was 20, 21, and I was like in the big city. And, I mean, they didn't do anything bad to me. It just bugged me or anything. It just freaked me out. And then there were a lot of them, and it's, it's, it was pretty cool. Well, why are you participating in the Homeless Challenge? Well, before I went to it, I was, you know, going to be like, oh, it's a lark, it's fun, it's going to be interesting. But then I met the guys that came um, that talked about being homeless and everything about it, and it's like, I felt like I might switch when I want to work in social work, advocacy for homeless people or, and others in that situation where rural versus urban, I don't know. But it was interesting. What are you expecting to get out of the homeless challenge? Uh, I guess to see myself I, I, closer with my friends that are going up there and see how people treat us. Because, you know, we're not college students anymore. We technically are, but it's going to have what other people look at us. I hope none of those punk kids, like, try to attack us, but I'm going to protect my guys and any other homeless people because they're not expecting some guys that are, I don't know, it's yeah. not going to attack them, but you know, it's like freak them <laughs> out. Them, you know. Gotcha. What are you most nervous about that, getting attacked? No, I'm most nervous about have, have finding a bathroom. Okay, and yeah. Because like, uh, basically taking a leak, you know, whatever. You can always do that, but what if you're all grungy and you gotta like take a crap and yeah. <laughs> they ain't letting you in. There's no room in the inn. I mean, look how they treated Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That's when he was born. So. <laughs> yeah. What is the thing that you're most excited about? Well, I'm most excited because it's, you know, not on campus. <laughs> I'm doing something good, worthwhile, you know, entertaining and I get that um, I might do my new style. Like I'm, I write poetry, but mm -hmm. I've never been um, cool enough or ready enough to go out in front of public. And this, this is my way to make money. It's freestyle rap, slam poems and stuff about real life. You know, yo, I'm homeless. I was kicked out of Concord. I was in the Navy. I'm a veteran. Look, they won't even give me money. I'm like, I should have been in school this semester. But look, I'm on the street now. That's just what I'm working on. So. Yeah. Okay. Because it's all true. It's like work with what you know, and it's like, because the real guys that are homeless and women, they're they know you're not homeless, but the that woman coming out of the Starbucks, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. What are you gonna do to look homeless? I got some grungy clothes. I worked, you know, I, you know, worked on a car, and then I'm gonna wear like heavy clothes, like um, this shirt, this and a sweater and then like smell bad and then like you know not take a shower because I was gonna wait not take a shower for a week but then it's definitely not gonna take a shower which I didn't shave like looked more like that but it was just last minute so I'm gonna be ready yeah because yeah. it's like attitude it's not what you look like it's because you know even if you looked in a good three-piece suit and you're homeless they're still not gonna give you money or help you out so, yeah and I want to like go do a job interview get you know like that's what they challenged us to do because anybody can panhandle and you know sing a song you're not really gaining nothing you gotta like go to the envelope you know, go to the fringes so. all right thanks